Finding the accurate weight of the load that you're about to lift is one of the most crucial steps of your lifting plan. And in this video, we're gonna cover a tool that can help remove the guesswork from your next lift. Welcome back to the Lifting and Rigging channel. My name is Devin and today we're gonna to give you some information on a piece of rigging hardware that when added to your lifting plan can take the guesswork out of how much weight you're about to lift. So you don't have to do all of that mathematics yourself. Joining me today for this breakdown is Aaron Orsak from Straight Point. Aaron, thank you for joining me today. Hey, thanks so much for having me. I'm excited about our conversation. So me and I'm sure a lot of people already know who you are. Personally, I mean, I came into this industry about four, almost four years ago now. And a lot of my time in this company has spent watching your videos and having you do tutorials live for our company. So I was really, really excited to get to work with you specifically on this project, because that's gotta be a terrible feeling if you're not 100% sure what's gonna happen when you start lifting that load in the air. That's exactly right. You know, I travel all over or did before we couldn't travel anymore. And uh, I would do these trainings with people. We'd go out into a shop and we'd have an overhead crane. And I'd say, okay, guys, uh, we're going to pick up this piece of a, you know, wire rope spool or something. I say, okay, guys, guess how much it weighs, right? You're going to get a hat if you guess closest to the weight. <laughs> so guys are guessing and they, you know, they want to get that Crosby hat or whatever. And, um, and so we get down to where, you know, everybody's kind of got their, their weight in and I go, okay, time out. If I wasn't here, you didn't have this load cell. You were going to pick this up. What would you do? You would guess. And that's really what we're after. Taking the guesswork out of lifting something up. Know what you're weighing. Take all of those risks associated with not knowing out of the equation. Just have something to monitor the weight. So that's really what we're after. And again, that's why I'm so excited about this conversation because we just, all we want, as we always want for the Lifting Rigging channel is to make sure that you have a better understanding of what you're getting yourself into so you're not guessing on your job site. So Absolutely. before we kick off, uh, Aaron, why don't you give us some background on you? Like I said, I've been watching your videos for years now. I know you've been in the industry forever. So if you could give us some background on yourself and then talk about the straight point and the Crosby group kind of uh, transition and what's going on with that relationship. Yeah, cool. So uh, I started in the lifting and rigging industry in 2005, completely green, didn't know a thing about rigging, didn't even know it was a thing, right? was thrown to the fire in an inside sales position. That's a very steep curve, right? Because the rigging industry has lots of tools, lots of things to sell. And getting to a point where you can efficiently tell a customer what they really need for their application or what is the best solution, it takes time, right? Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, so about 15 years in the lifting and rigging industry, I started with Straight Point, specifically focused on load monitoring in 2015. And in January of 2019, yeah, Crosby purchased Straight Point. We have good people at Straight Point and we have good people at Crosby. We've been able to work together and the relationships that I've built over the years, it just all came hand in hand. So it's, it's been really, really good. For years, you had to figure out how to calculate the weight of the load yourself. We've even made a video to try to help teach you how to do some of those formulas so you can figure it out. But when we did that project, a lot of the feedback that we got was still, even knowing what the formulas are, people are just not comfortable for the most part going, okay, so I was able to do this, this, and this. I am pretty confident that that's how much that thing weighs. Let's, let's roll the dice and see what happens. That's a terrible thing to feel. So saying that, let's go ahead and get into this specific tool on load cells and dynamometers, I believe is the term that we use. Yep, dynamometers. So if I could have you start by just explaining, you know, what they are and kind of how they, how they're used in lifting that an average rigger could, you know, pull another toolbox, throw it on a crane and then see what's happening. So a load cell or a dynamometer is really about knowing how much you're picking up. It's going to tell you and indicate how much weight it is that you have on your hook. We use strain gauge technology, which they look like an EKG. If you ever have an EKG, it's a little mm -hmm. pad, a little microscopic uh, thing. And we bond those to the metal of the load link type or the shackle in the pin. And we measure the microscopic strain of the load cell and we convert that into a pound or a kilogram or kilonewton or a tonny. Um, so when we talk about calibration, a lot of times in load cells, you'll hear that word calibration. We're calibrating the strain of the body through the range. So if you have a 10 ton uh, load cell or dynamometer, we're saying, okay, we're calibrating it. At two ton, that body is going to deform microscopically like this. At six ton, it's going to deform like that. 
Now you'll never see that with your eyes. If you do, it's time to leave, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, but it is that body's deforming. And then when it comes back down to no tension, it returns to zero. That body is not deformed anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's really how a load cell works. Any kind of wireless or electronic load cell strain gauge is working on the microscopic deflection of whatever the strain gauges are bonded to. And so what are the different types of load cells or dynamometers that are available on a job site? Yeah, 10-4. So this is the Radiolink Plus. This is our link style load cell. So shackle on the top, shackle on the bottom, put the shackle in the hook and attach your rigging to the bottom shackle. Now this comes out to a wireless handheld that looks like this. It's got buttons on the bottom here down the side. Um, this is the most popular, best-selling product globally. This is, this is the most common used load cell in the industry. And so people will use that in their rigging. They'll have it in a carry case. And when they need to monitor their loads, which let's be honest, should be every time, they can pull that out, put those shackles in line and, and go after it, put their rigging on and go. And they'll be able to stand at a safe distance. That wireless handheld has a thousand meter range. That's 3,300 foot. Now we don't know anybody and I've not encountered anybody who needed to be a thousand meters away, right? But what that means is that the signal at two, three, 400 foot is very strong still. It's a very robust signal and it's radio frequency. It's 2.4 gigahertz license free. So that that item is the most common, commonly used tool in the riggers box when they're talking about load cells. Sometimes they'll see a load cell that uh, has kind of a face on it that the, the readout is on it right mm -hmm. so they don't have a handheld they just got just a screen on the load cell well there's a couple of issues with that how close do you have to be to it to see that screen yeah, right right the screens the screen is limited to the amount of space it has here typically they're about an inch or less tall yeah and you're not backlit it's not a backlit screen so you've either got to be really close to the load which is dangerous mm -hmm. or you've got to have binoculars and if you're like me you got to have the motion desensing binoculars that are high dollars. And then you're still going to be wondering if it's a six or an eight, right? So um, that's where the handheld comes in place. You can see it here. Now our load cell is strictly wireless, right? There is no face on this load cell. Uh, there's no readout. It's polycarbonate. Mm -hmm. So if it gets gouged or dinged or anything like that, you can still use it. If you've got a, a load cell with a face on it and it gets gouged, it's done. And so what are some other common types of those systems that you have for uh, yeah. monitoring the weight of a load? So this is the wireless load shackle. So you'll see here, there's a, a centering bobbin. It's a bolt type shackle. So the bolt comes out, mm -hmm. right? And so this type of load cell is used for low headroom applications, permanent installation, uh, heavy lift. We make these up through uh, 1500 metric ton. So um, if you could consider a, let's say a 400 ton load cell, if you can imagine one of these 400 ton mm -hmm. with a 400 ton shackle on top and a 400 ton shackle on the bottom, it's so much headroom, it's so heavy, all of those components together where you could just have a wireless load shackle, 400 ton, and just put your hook in it, put your rigging on it and go, right? How do you monitor that one? So the other one, you said it had this cool handheld device. If yep. you're using that shackle, how, how do you look at the readout to see what you're lifting, how much it weighs, and you know whether or not you're in the right spot? Yeah, brilliant. So again, the yellow handheld will have a readout on the screen here. Now they're, they're offered in a Bluetooth version, but um, Bluetooth is not apples to apples, right? Um, there's about 100 meters or 300 foot communication length for Bluetooth, which um, that's really good for Bluetooth, but we have to remember that Bluetooth is a relatively weak signal. If there's a bunch of other wireless um, wireless crane controls or interference or anything like that, Bluetooth is just not strong enough to punch through those other signals. Hmm. So um, yeah, you can monitor that load cell, that wireless shackle on that yellow handheld and move on. In fact, the yellow handheld can monitor up to four wireless devices at one time. So if, if you got a four point lift, you need to put four shackles, you can use that one same yellow handheld to monitor all four, or you can see a different screen that shows the total weight. So it's a lot of, a lot of variables there you can, you can do. 
Absolutely. Yeah, because not every application is just one specific anchor point. Sometimes you have multiple, especially on bigger, heavier applications. So that's awesome that you have the flexibility to add more than one if you need one, just to make sure that you have a true monitoring experience to know what you're lifting and what's happening with that lift. That's right. Now, the biggest difference between the Link Style Radio Link Plus and the wireless load shackle is the accuracy. Mm. Okay, so a, a Link Style like this, this is a 0.1% plus or minus of capacity. Right. So if we talk about a 12 ton radio link plus, that's 26,000 pounds because it's a metric ton. So we're talking about plus or minus 26 pounds. So that's really good for 26,000 pounds, plus or minus 26 pounds. The shackle, a 12 ton shackle, again, 12 ton metric ton, 26,000 pounds is plus or minus 1% of capacity. So now we're talking about a plus or minus of 260 pounds. Mm. So the shackle will never be as accurate as the Radiolink Plus, but there are environments and there are applications where headroom is absolutely critical that you just will not be able to get a link style Radiolink Plus in there, right? So that's when we move to the shackle. And when customers go from no weight monitoring to plus or minus 1%, that's really, really a, a great, you know, advantage or a great improvement over no load monitoring at all. So we talked about the radio link. Um, you talked about that shackle. Uh, what other types of systems do you have for load monitoring? If people are interested in this type of product, then they're looking for what else is on that market? Yeah, ten four. So um, we have customers that, that call us and say, "Hey, I'm I'm working with a an uh, an auto crane on the side of a truck. It's one ton. It's not a lot. I don't need to be." 200 foot away. I just need something that's going to be reliable, lightweight. I can pull it out. I can see it on my phone and just, you know, use an app. So we, we have the blue link. Now, um, the blue link is a six and a half ton capacity. It is Bluetooth only. It's meant to be used with our HHP app, which is free on the Android or iOS platforms. And, uh, the customer can monitor the loads on that load cell on their phone for free. Right, so they can connect again, 100 meter range, 300 foot line of sight, clear day. Um, but it is a cost effective solution. It's lightweight, it weighs less than four pounds. Put two shackles on it, put it on, and move on. Know what you're lifting. Uh, so that is a really, really popular, it's gaining popularity. That product has been uh, about a year and a half now launched, and it's, it's really taken off. Customers love it, they love the flexibility that the app gives them. Mm -hmm. to monitor the load they can do logging in the app uh, so they can monitor the whole lift and print out a report if they wanted to uh, so yeah so that that blue link is um it's effective for some applications but again bluetooth and, and long distance radio frequency like a yellow handheld not apples to apples right it's per application and I think the reason that I like the app element so much is because to me like you know if you um if you're moving something and you have like a remote pendant control Sometimes that's not always where it's supposed to be. Sometimes you have another guy who picked it up and put it somewhere else and you know where it should be, but it's definitely not there. But if it's on your app, your your phone is typically in your pocket anyway, in your back pocket for safety. And so I like the the flexibility of being able to monitor your load weight with something that's just fitting in your back pocket. So you don't have to rely on somebody else losing your stuff or accidentally taking it home or it's in their truck or something like that. That's cool. That was, um, I like that you put that um, software design into that application. That was really cool. Yeah, you know, when we talk about safety and, and having it um, in your hand, having the cell phone in your hand, well, do I really want to be pulling out the, the cell phone while I'm operating the crane, that kind of thing. The, we made it where the, the Blue Link, eight different phones can be connected to it at one time. Nice. So if we have one lift that we're making, and let's say the foreman wants to monitor the load while the crane operator, he doesn't have to pass his phone off with the app, right? That Both of them can have the app on their phone and the foreman can just watch yes no maybe so go for it right mm. but as a double check if if there's a project engineer he wants to see it as well they can both connect to it or all three it doesn't matter uh, up to eight phones connected to that one blue link and so for practical application do you typically see you know one guy is lifting the crane the other person is watching the the monitor of the load so that it's more of like a team dynamic as opposed to one person who's trying to juggle the phone and the lift and monitor all at the same time yeah, typically that's the case, right? We've got one guy who's operating the crane. He is focused on the load. He's watching the crane. He's watching the operation. He's controlling it. Then we have another guy, if there's a team environment, 
that's monitoring our load cell. He'll be holding it. He he'll give a, an audio uh, you know cue to the crane operator like, hey, we're getting close, or hey, stop, um, that kind of thing. But in a single person environment, uh, we do have uh, some customers who use like uh, the little poppets on the back of their phone mm-hmm. and they put it in a holder next to where they'll be operating. So. Uh, if you can imagine a crane operator with his screens in his cab, yeah, right, single operator going for it, uh, much like that. These guys are using, say, a Blue Link with the app. They, they've got their phone held in front of them, but they're operating the crane and, and making sure, right, that they're not overloading or getting close to loads. So there's some flexibility there. Obviously, team environments much more um, desirable, right? For sure. But in the real world, not that doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, and that's the cool thing about that. It obviously in, in a perfect world it would be great if you always had a team, you know, with you. Best case scenario, that's what you want. But you know, there are tools designed to help you get through this on your own if you have to get through it on your own. So that's right. that is awesome that you have that opportunity. Yeah, ten four. And the and the the Bluetooth app actually has an audible alarm that's programmable. So if he really needs you know, the operator really needs to just know when he's getting close to a load, he can set that phone down focus on the load and then when it hits that target that he's programmed in there let's say a thousand pounds mm-hmm. it'll start beeping out beep 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 right so he knows he doesn't even have to look at it he can just okay i gotta stop 